Start with a large ball of turkey colored clay. I like to work with the original color of something just because you can try and make things look more realistic if you've got the right colors to begin with. So you can use any size ball you like for the turkey. I'm using one about this big in relation to the size of my hand. Now I want to shape it into the body of the turkey. So I'm just going to flatten this part a bit when start pushing this one in and flattening it. And just keep working on it until you get that perfect turkey shape. And then try pushing this end in with your finger just like that and just keep working with it. and start to flatten down the top of the skin with your fingers to make it more smooth. You can use a ball tool to create that little hole there in the center of the turkey, like how it just goes in a bit. And then I'm just gonna deepen that with the ball tool. And then just work your way out to smooth it. Create definition. And then just kind of draw a bit of a line and then smooth it out with your finger because the turkey does have a natural line. Once you're happy with the way the turkey looks, the shape and everything, then we can work on texturing the skin. And so we're gonna use a toothbrush to give that dimpled effect on the turkey skin. So my toothbrush is ready, and now you're basically just gonna pound the heck out of this turkey and just keep texturing it with this toothbrush. Now we're going to shade the turkey with chalk pastels. And this is what's going to make the turkey look realistic, like it's actually cooked. And this is the key to making a realistic turkey. So we're going to stick to golds and especially like shades of brown. You're going to want to start by giving the turkey a light golden coat with the chalk pastel. Once the turkey is pretty evenly coated, we want to add some definition now with brown. So you want to take a light brown color, I'm just using this color right here and you're just gonna want to put it in the creases and just start off with light amounts so a little bit there and a little bit in there and just work your way out with your brush blending it with the gold that you already have and then go back and add more Add brown along the bottom layer and blend upward. So this is what we have so far. Brown in the crease and brown in this crease. And now we just make, need to make the top look baked as well. So what we're gonna do is add a bit of brown so you don't want too much on your brush. And then just slightly add it in that middle line we made before with the ball tool. Slightly carry it downward. Now just add m more amounts of brown to the actual base of the turkey and blend it all in. And then once you're happy with the turkey, we can work on the legs and the wings. Just take balls of clay, the same color you used for the color of your turkey, and have two larger ones for the drumsticks and two smaller ones for the wings. To form the drumstick, start by taking the larger end and slowly just pull out a small amount. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna keep pulling and then you're gonna roll it between your fingers. Polymer clay is forgiving, so if you don't get it right the first time, just smush it all back together and try again. So here I'm just slightly pulling out the smaller part to make the bone. And this is going to be the drumstick part. And you can see we've got a basic shape. And then here's the end. So now what you want to do is you just want to make this part in the middle skinnier and the part at the end a bit fatter. And just keep adjusting it till you get that perfect drumstick. Now just attach a drumstick to your turkey to see if they're the right size. And I like the way the size proportion is on mine, so I'm going to leave them. And now we're going to make the wings. So for the wing, what you want to do is you want to start by grabbing it halfway with a similar technique as for the drumstick. And you want to just start to pull away most of the clay. But instead of the drumstick, what we're going to do is we're going to bend it upward. 
pulling it away, making sure that's the right size I want. And then you're just going to kind of roll this into a log between your fingers. And then you're just going to kind of bend it upward and then pull away with excess clay like that. And then just shape it a little bit more like a wing, make this end pointier. And there you go, just smooth it down a bit, shape it, and you've got a, a nice turkey wing. And now attach your wings to your turkey again to make sure that it's the right size proportion. And now we're gonna shade it. Pull your wings and drumsticks off your turkey to shade them. This way we don't get unwanted color on the turkey again. So cover it with a gold base, just like you did the turkey. And then we'll add definition with the brown. For the wing, add a bit of brown on top of it and a bit of brown to the end. And just keep adding it until you've got the desired shade. Shade the drumsticks a light golden color. Now add a bit of brown to the top of the drumstick. And then put a lot of brown right here at the end of the bone. You want this to be pretty dark and then work that darkness outwards. And now attach everything and your polymer clay turkey is complete. Also make any touch-ups that are needed. Like if there are any spots that aren't colored, make sure that you color those with your chalk pastel. To make the lettuce surrounding your turkey, what you wanna do is roll out a piece of green on the thinnest setting in your pasta shader. And here, you wanna get a circle, circular cookie cutter the same size around as your turkey. And then you're just gonna cut a hole out in your green clay. So this circle will sit under the turkey. And we're gonna attach the lettuce to the sides. That way the turkey will sit in the lettuce and the lettuce will have something to attach to. To make the lettuce, take any piece of green clay, the same thickness, and just start rolling it between your fingers. And you just wanna create a loopy look. And then you're just gonna fan it out a bit and then just put it on the edge of your circle. And now repeat. So now all we have to do is place our turkey on the lettuce and position it so you've got the best side. And now you can make any touch-ups that your turkey needs. Now bake it and glaze it. It's also optional, but you can glue your turkey to a woodsy, a circular woodsy that is painted silver, which is what I've done here. And this represents a platter.